Good evening, sir. Hi, students. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. So, last class, So, profit and loss uh, formulas. Okay. So now uh, formulas for calculating. SP and CP when loss percentage is given. When loss percentage is given. So SP is equal to 100 minus loss percentage by 100 into CP. Similarly, CP is equal to 100 into SP by 100 minus Last person. So these are the two ways where how do we calculate selling price and cost price when last percent is given. These formulas are not a rocket science. These formulas are where we actually derive from this formula that is loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100. You know what is loss? That is cost price minus selling price. So if you subject, uh, if you take subject as yes, selling price, then the formula will be this 
if you take subject as uh, cost price then the formula will be this so these are the two ways so for a better understanding to find sp and cp when profit percentage or loss percentage is given so sp is equal to cp 1 plus profit percentage by 100 similarly sp is equal to cp 1 minus loss percentage by 100 okay so these are the formulas anyways again these formulas what i just discussed i am mentioning here you can make a note of it if you want and let's solve some problems sir so one minute sir one minute Done, sir. Sir, can you scroll up a little? Done, sir. Okay. So question is, Ravi bought a phone for rupees 7000 and spent rupees 400 on its repairs. Then he sold it for Rupees seven thousand six hundred and twenty two. Find his profit or loss percentage. So I give you three minutes, two minutes of time. Please send your answers on the chat box. Yes, sir. Send your answers on the chat box. Sir, did you call me? Yes, uh, send your answer on the chat box. Okay, sir. So, Charantesh, I need you to answer here. Yes, sir. Okay. No, no, no. Let's discuss on open platform. Okay, sir. So, here, what is total cost price? What is the cost price here? Sir, uh, 7,400. So, cost price is 7,400. Yes, sir.
So Gagana, are you here? Yes, sir. So yesterday you were asking doubt. We did similar problem. I hope you. Uh, yes, sir. Know how to... Yes, you, your answer I was correct. Answer. Yeah. So here, Lasya, please. I only Lasya to speak out here. Yes, sir. Okay. So selling price is how much here? Given in the question. Selling price seven thousand six hundred and twenty-two. So is the is Ravi making profit or loss? Ravi got profit, sir. Ravi got profit. So profit is selling price minus cost price. As cost selling price. price is greater than cost price. Cost price. So seven thousand six hundred and twenty-two minus seventy-four hundred. That gives to two twenty-two, sir. Two twenty-two. So profit percentage is equal to. Profit, profit by cost price into hundred. Cost percent. price into hundred. Three percent will be the answer for this. Gautam Krishna correct, Pranav correct, Gagana correct, Sai Kartik Reddy wrong. So now let's. So basic concepts you got to understand, right? What is uh, so whenever so yesterday Gagna asked this doubt, so I want to clarify once again with giving one more uh, uh, solution on this or problem on this. So whenever they give uh, repairs, so whenever they mention repairs, including co uh, cost price, what you have to actually do is you have to include it in cost price. So they say suppose if a person purchases AC. And he got uh, it repaired with so and so cost. Suppose if he purchased for fifty thousand AC and additional twenty thousand cost for repairing it, then overall cost you have to make it as fifty thousand plus twenty thousand. So for this confusion, yesterday many problems didn't solve this. Sorry, many students, many students didn't solve this question in the paper, which is given on Sunday. Weekend paper, so that's the reason why I again gave this problem to you. Next, uh, we will be going with the discount. So I know how many people are very much familiar with this word called discount. So you get good discounts during festival days on e-commerce platforms like Flipkart or Amazon on Great Indian Sale and uh, Big Billions and Day Sale. So what is exactly meant by discount? Okay. Please make a note of it. Discount. Before no getting into discount, let us know what is market price. You know one thing: market price is also called as list price. Market price is also called as list price. Sir, okay. uh, market price also max retail price rate. Yes. MRP. Sir, mass, mass the price and the cost of price of the any of the shop is different. Yeah, so don't be in hurry. I'm here to discuss. Okay, we will discuss. So I'm about to discuss is actually. Please wait. So. The price. written on on the article or tag on the article is called market price is called market price or List price. Okay. So then, what is selling price? What is the difference between selling price and market price? That is market price or market price. 
So what is the difference between selling price and market price? The difference between market price. Sir, can I say? No, no. Thank you. But the difference between the market price and discount is called sorry is the selling price of the article okay so selling price is nothing but suppose with an example i will tell you suppose here the bottle, suppose this is one box, decorated box, and price which is marked on it as 700 rupees. So, after discount, that is 10% discount they mentioned on this price. So, what will be the selling price now? That is 700 minus discount the difference between market price and discount so discount 10 percent means 70 what is 10 percent means 70 rupees or not so 70 so selling price will be how much 630 selling price will be 630 so if you want to find it find out what is discount now so, so this is selling price and this is market price so if i want to know the discount discount is nothing but discount is equal to market price minus selling price so now the direction made on the Market price is called the discount. It is always calculated on market price or list price so please make a note of it Sir, I have a doubt. Just a minute. Yes, what is your doubt? Sir, what is the difference between market price and cost price? So, cost price is if you purchase a good at factory. Okay. If you purchase a good at factory, he will sell you actually how much does it cost to produce the product. So, suppose if I suppose I am actually preparing a uh, what a rubber ball or a, a cricket ball so cricket i just add only for production material production material matrab like uh, for for making that uh, things uh, making ball like making for that leather cost and for the cork cost and stitching charges and all i will exclude uh, i don't add in cost price the transportation charges the salaries that I am uh, paying for the employees who, may, who actually made it and all. 
only for the product i am costing that is called cost to price market price is different from the cost co uh, cost to price market price is market after all these incursions like taxes transportation charges handling charges and all okay okay sir whenever they are mentioning cost price cost price is nothing but it is the the actual uh, amount that has been encountered or used to produce a product selling price is at which rate you sold the product okay, market sir. price see market price is so i will give you one small example suppose uh i will just tell you so suppose uh, daily morning uh, you will have some breakfast right so in that breakfast suppose if you go for dosha dosha you yourself make at home okay you yourself make at home and you consume for your personal purpose so what you actually do this dosha this dosha is actually consumed by maker who actually makes it okay so the cost of making this dosha so cost of making this dosha is what price of a floor all the expenses plus electric charges for uh, grinding it making it plus uh, lpg charge that is your uh, for uh, making charges lpg charges or making charges labor charges are making charges plus both are the same sir handling charges so these all include cost price suppose if you want to sell this that is at selling price you will add your fuel expenses handling charges transportation charges and all suppose for you at home it is costing for you to make it at rupees 20 rupees what you what you will do you will add 10 rupees as handling charges and extra 10 rupees to be your profit so this 10 rupees will be your profit and this 10 rupees will be your transportation charges or handling charges or whatever it is and final price you will cost it as 40 rupees per per dosha per one dosha you will price so this is cost price so you are making this dosha at your home till then it is cost you 20 rupees and then you transported for 10 rupees charges for each dosha and 10 rupees for your profit you added so now this this will be sorry this will be market price for suppose this will be 40 rupees will be your market price so what your neighbor so you are you actually running a big hotel so morning tiffin hotel so what your friend actually did is now your neighboring competitor who also sells dosha he sold it for 38 rupees one dosha and all the customers going to this fellow and no one is purchasing uh, in your hotel and no one is having dosha at your hotel why because it's costing 40 rupees now what you did you immediately decrease the price and you made it to 35 rupees now obviously you will you will be gaining 5 rupees as profit for each dosha and also more dosha will be sold comparing into the neighboring hotel so this 35 rupees is selling price this 40 rupees is market price and this 20 rupees is cost price so i hope everyone of you got to know what exactly cost price is selling uh, market price and selling price Okay, yes, sir. sir. Sir, can you scroll up a little more, sir? Where the definition is written? Yes, sir.
so usually flipkart amazon what why all they actually give very less cost is their hand they deduct much in their hand uh, their uh, transportation charges so if you go and if you want to purchase a mobile suppose if you want to purchase some samsung mobile or apple iphone mobile in reliance digital or uh, somewhere you store near at your place near reliance digital or sangeetha or any chroma chroma store the price will be at 1000 rupees 2000 rupees extra why because that fellow should pay that rent store rent he should also pay a, for extra money for uh, salaries for the employees who are selling the products that is seller selling agents and he should also pay extra rupees for electric charges and that mobile will be uh, actually uh, will from production like production unit they will get this mobile from the production unit so for that handling charges again some amount should be added but what the purpose here is when you want to so flip, what flipkart or any e-commerce does is they will directly purchase from one company production company and they will store it one place that is a that is called inventory inventory means storing goods a place where we store the goods so all these goods are they push this on to the digital platform so here so much of cost cost cutting is happening one is transportation charges cost cutting employees cost cutting and paying rents or complex rents or whatever and taxes also electricity also many cost cutting is happening and and salaries for the uh, selling agents so this much cost cutting is ha happening only because of this inventory store and this inventory store is huge it will store near only 3 lakh products or 4 lakh products including a to z products mobiles groceries everything that's the reason why you get huge discounts why uh, yes chandan there what's your what's your doubt sir you told that uh, the mark uh, price is 40 but mm. the selling price is 35 then we will get a loss right sir how you will get a loss sir because uh, the market price is 40 but we are selling it at 35 so, rupees here see 20 rupees is actually costing to you you know for making it yes sir 10, 10 rupees is actually traveling charge your transport traveling charges again 10 rupees you are adding extra to so you are choosing your profit but you just decrease your profit percent initially it was 10 rupees so 10 from 10 rupees you decrease it to 35 rupees profit is there but profit percentage is decreased first 5 rupees ostundo 10 rupees ostundo oka dosa sale meda nu em chesina rate daggichal ani cheppi 5 rupees daggichesina so 5 rupees ostundo 35 rupees ardham ayinda niku yes so actually one more thing we we don't actually look after this see the concept of profit and loss you don't we will check we will check after the selling price so after selling price we will check whether it is a benefiting product or uh, whether it is a losing product sir so we only uh, compare between cp and uh, sp no matter how many are there in between no 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 who said like that so you, so you don't worry eventually you will understand once we keep on solving the problems so through problems only you will come to know this so sometimes uh, cp will be less and market price will be suppose if i if i uh, 40 rupees is here if i want to sell 30 rupees here then loss only no from cost price and marketing price you you are all making loss no so it's not about with what factors you are defining profit or loss but i just gave you this example what is what so whenever comes to whenever you have some doubt on cost price think that cost price is nothing but production charges so when discount comes in pictures then market price will comes in picture that is market price or market price or list price so better for better understanding let's solve one problem now
so you so discount you wrote so now selling price is equal to market price minus discount so i already told you that what is discount here discount is called market price minus selling price so i am making subject as selling price so selling price is equal to market price minus discount so now market price minus discount percentage so what i already told you discount is always calculated in percentage so now discount percentage is nothing but discount by market price into 100 so selling price is equal to market price minus discount percentage into market price by 100 if i take market price common here 1 minus discount percentage by 100 so to get better uh, to get better understanding of this formula the market price let us solve one problem the market price of a fan is equal to 1100 rupees and the shopkeeper allows a discount of 6% find the selling price of the fan find the selling price of the fan so for this simple one thing we have to do discount of 6% so I already told you discount is provided on mark price or uh, mark price right Discount is provided on mark price, isn't it or not? So discount made on the mark price. Yes, sir. Yes, or not? sir. Yes, so, dis so discount made on the mark price. So 6%, 6% discount is given by the shopkeeper. So 6% by, that is 6 by 100 into 1100 so 66 rupees is discount so selling price is equal to how much now rupees 1100 minus 66 that is market price minus discount so how much you are getting 1100 minus 66 is how much? 1000 and, and um, 44, sir. 34, sir. 1034. 1, 34. 34, sir. Sorry. 34. So, selling price is 1034. Now, you apply in this formula. That is market price into 1 minus discount percentage by 100. So market price is, selling price is called market price is 1100. 1 minus discount percentage is 6 percentage by 100. So that will be equal to 1100. 100 minus 6 is uh, 90. 94, sir. 4 by 100. So this, this will get cancelled. 11 into 94. So 11 into 94, 11. 1034, sir. Um, 
Okay. Any confusion in understanding this? This no. is market price. This is discount percentage. So this is the formula. Any confusion in understanding is, or else you can do in this way. Anyway, is the suitable. Anyway, will lead to a suitable answer for this. Sir, can you show the show where you wrote the formulas? Can you scroll more up, sir? Yes, sir. So here, once again, I am repeating this. Selling price is equal to, so discount, I already told you what is that. Discount is nothing but market price minus selling price. So I am subjecting selling price here. That will be market price minus discount. So selling price minus equal to market price minus discount. You know what is discount percentage is? That is discount by market price into 100. So I'm substituting that value here, discount percentage by 100 into uh, market percentage. Taking market percentage as common, I'll get this formula. Any difficulty in understanding this? No. Okay. So this is discount and So next, we will we are supposed to discuss tax. So usually, what do you mean by tax? Any idea you have? First, GST, CGST. Extra so those, tax. So, so before also coming, value added tax. Okay. So before so no, I am asking you what is tax definition. I am not asking you what are types of tax. So, so tax, tax is, is like the extra cost imposed upon an article uh, so that money expenses. goes to the government. Okay. I will give you one small example. How many of you are aware of toll price? Toll gate Sorry, price. Sorry, sir. Yeah, I am so, aware, sir. So, yeah. so, yes, sir. So, when you are traveling uh, to any of the place, Okay, when you're traveling to any of the place, like long distance, suppose if you're traveling, I don't know how many of you travel from Hyderabad to Yadagiri Gutta. So if uh, there in between, you will see a toll plaza. How many of you are aware of toll plaza? So many people. So exactly what we are doing at toll plaza there. So exactly what we are doing is... So this is the road... So you are traveling by car. So actually this road is laid by government. So how this road is laid by government? To the taxes given by a population of this country. So how this population, uh, how these taxes are collected? That is income tax. So this tax is collected through income tax. Wow. From whose income it is collected? From an individual of a... From all the individuals of this country. So taxes are collected in various forms. Suppose I being a student, how I am paying tax to a country? So if I purchase a paper, suppose if I want to make a notes, I have I need a book. So I need a notebook. So I go to where? Bookstall. For that bookstall, what I will do? I will take out my car. I don't find any bookstall in Hyderabad. I, my sentiment is I, I need to purchase a book in Yadagari Gutta, bookstall which is at Yadagari Gutta. So I just took, uh, took 
my car from my car shed went to nearby filling station and told that fellow to fill my tank there i am paying some extra rupees of some suppose 3000 full is for my car uh full tank car price of fuel so there i am paying tax how i am paying tax i am purchasing petrol for my car there i am paying tax so that is one form of giving tax to the government why i am giving tax to the government that is called excise tax why because i am paying tax to the government through this fuel then i will travel on the road i will go a toll plaza it will come so i will pay to these fellows why because they are maintaining the road toll people are maintaining the road and if some extra uh, uh, per because of huge range if some extra pit is a uh, pit or anything is on road they will actually repair it or they will maintain the gardens or trees on the divider so for that i am paying tax why i am paying tax i am using that road i am traveling on that road so for that i am paying tax next again purchasing the book so for everything what i am i am going out i am paying tax as an amount as a certain percent of amount to the government suppose if you are using electricity you are paying some percent of tax from it if your father is earning some 10 lakh crores you, he is to pay 30% out of it so this is a cycle to maintain your surroundings beautiful and clean to run this government will give some money to the government so that it will provide some facilities or amenities to us like roads petrol stations filling stations markets and all this so please write down what is tax definition the money collected by the government from the citizens of the country in order to provide services is called tax is called tax so you are suppose you lost your mobile you are very much worried you go to police station how this police station has been uh, actually making all its operations to the tax provided by you they are public servants so their salaries is from your pocket you are paying some tax through the tax they are getting salaries similarly traffic signal constables even the prime minister chief minister everybody in this government are getting their salaries from our pocket they are running the services okay they are running the services to to make citizens or individuals of this country safe and and economically in a healthy way okay so this is this is how we government collect the taxes in order to maintain services or in order to give services to its citizens so there are various types of taxes please make a note of it first is income tax next is sales tax and next is goods and services tax. tax gst sir so gst goods and services tax is nothing but uh, is it's a type of value added tax okay sir okay so usually goods and services tax has came into picture in 2018 before that there is no taxes 
So goods and services, see economics is another a big level subject. Even I am studying for my exams now. It's a big level subject. So it's very difficult to understand economics. You need a lot of attention towards it. So you just read basics here. What I say is, so value added tax. So these definitions we'll discuss in next class. Okay, definition for this. And next we are left with uh, simple interest and compound interest. Yes, sir. And yes. next what you are left with. Yes, simple interest and con uh, compound interest, and then we will do some problems. So next class, we will discuss uh, definitions of this, problems on uh, uh, taxes, and also brief explanation of GST. And then we will be discussing uh, what uh, compound interest and simple interest, and a brief explanation about what is interest. So we'll be discussing this and then some problems on it. Problems anyways, I will discuss simultaneously on it. Okay. So thank you for this. We'll meet on Thursday. Thursday only we have the class, right? Yes. yes sir. Okay, yes, chill. Sir. Bye. Thank Bye, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.